Hey everyone, today we're gonna make carrot cake whoopie pies. If you haven't ever had a whoopie pie, it's kind of like the oatmeal pies. They're soft cookies with filling in between. They, these don't have oatmeal, they're carrot cake flavor, but they're a really fun dessert and a really fun treat. So first you wanna take a box of cheesecake pudding mix and take two tablespoons out of it and place it into a bowl. And you're gonna save this for the filling. So first add a box of carrot cake mix to a large mixing bowl, then add the rest of that cheesecake pudding mix, plus three eggs, then two thirds cup of water, and a half cup of vegetable oil. And now you're just going to use a hand mixer or stand mixer, whichever you prefer, and then mix that up real well. And now you're gonna add it to a piping bag and then just pipe small circles on a parchment lined cookie sheet. So make sure you're piping small circles because if you pipe large ones, the cookies are really gonna kind of be too flimsy once they bake because they'll just be too big. So pipe small circles and you're gonna have to do a several of these batches because it does make a lot of uh, cookie dough or whoopie pie dough. So just keep piping these on and just use a, a small piping bag or even a Ziploc bag will work. Just snip off the corner of it and use that. So you're gonna bake these at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for 12 to 14 minutes. So once they're baked, set them on a cooling rack for about five or 10 minutes or so. And while they're cooling a little bit, you can go ahead and pipe another batch onto your cookie sheet. And then once those are baked, go ahead and let them cool a little bit. Once they've cooled in the pan, you can put them on wire racks to cool completely. And after they have cooled down completely and are no longer warm, you want to put these in the fridge to chill. They need to be colder, otherwise they get sticky. So for the filling, add a quarter cup of milk to the two tablespoons of pudding mix that you reserved earlier, and then just set that to the side and add one cup of unsalted butter and make sure that it is room temp. Add that to your mixing bowl and then mix that until it's smooth. And you don't have to use a stand mixer like I'm doing. You can use a hand mixer too. So now add in that milk and pudding mixture that you just mixed. You're gonna add that to the butter and you're gonna mix that up really well. And it's always good to scrape down the sides and the bottom of the bowl as well. And then once that's mixed, you're gonna add just a dash of salt and a teaspoon of vanilla. Now add in marshmallow cream and I'm just adding in a small container of that. That's gonna make this fluffy and kind of give it a little bit of a marshmallow taste. And if you don't wanna make the, the filling from scratch, you can always just use uh, pre-made canned frosting. That works as well. And so now I'm adding three cups of confectioner sugar. I'm just adding it a little bit at a time so that it doesn't spread everywhere in the kitchen and make a big mess. So just add the confectioner sugar. And then once you get the last of it added, you wanna turn your mixer um, on high because you want to get really fluffy filling. So turn your mixer on high and then let it mix it for a couple of minutes until it's really light and fluffy. And then you're going to add it to half of the cookies. Make sure the cookies are cooled when you do this. So just pipe it on half the cookies. You don't have to get fancy like I did. Just get it on there. Even if you have to use a spoon, you just want the filling in between. And then place the other half of the cookie on the other cookie and then you want to chill these you want to make sure that they are chilled because otherwise they can kind of get sticky on you but they're really soft with the filling inside the cookies stay soft as long as you keep them in an airtight container i really hope you love these happy baking and i will see you next time <music>